What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another eFootball 2022 a weekly news roundup. We're going to go through this quick and uh, get you guys up to date for Thursday uh, and for the week ahead because there is a couple of new things added, but V1.1.2 seems to be just a bit of housekeeping. There isn't a massive amount of stuff. Um, there isn't a massive amount of stuff that's that's been added, uh, but we will go through it all as usual and keep you guys up to date. So as you can see there, the new update file V1.1.2 is now available on all devices and it just talks about general fixes. It talks about global improvements. It talks about fixing things such as the live update rating of certain players. So for example, if you had a legend player that had a B form, um, sometimes he'd be, you know, he wouldn't look like he'd have a B form. He could be down. He could have a downward right arrow or a form arrow um, in the match, which was a bit of a bit of a pain, obviously, because you know a big a big attraction of getting um, you know the power pack legends or anything like that or any of the legends such as Romario or Vieira or whatever is to have them in top form more often than not. So yeah, they fixed that so that it's not it doesn't have that bug anymore. Similarly with the managers, some people were complaining and it happened to me once or twice as well that the managers um were changing in game. So if you had your team set up in game plan before you started a match and then you go into the match, you might see that you know your your manager is is playing a different team play style. So you might have a manager that is, you know, like 99 or 100 team play style level matched with with your starting 11 and playing quick counter but when you actually go into your game plan before the match it might switch to long ball or it might switch to possession so you would throw away throw all your play style proficiency stuff out of the water um so that's kind of fixed as well and that coaching affinity is the same so some managers were having mixed up coaching affinity that seems to be fixed as well then they just talk about two crashing bugs i hadn't seen any of that uh but it was due to a card display issue i think with the chelsea b uh one but we'll get to that in a second and then obviously they just talk about legend players who are still active or being considered as retired in the commentary and then they talk they're back to this global improvements type thing i would like to see more detailed explanation on what they fixed uh, but it says it fixed an issue that affected the stability of the software. So does that mean online? Does that mean connection? Does that mean input delay? Does that mean the stability of the gameplay? Um, it will be interesting to see that because I've played the last couple of days. Um, I haven't played V1.1.2 yet, but the last couple of days I thought the game has, has been a lot smoother, especially for me anyway. Um, I've had very little input delay. Uh, the games have been fluid. I've played about five or six games. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that they keep keep tweaking that next up we have got the new legends this week which are the Bayern Munich legends Beckenbauer Elber and Sally Hamovic who again yeah I mean Beckenbauer is probably going to be one of the best legends in the game um he definitely is a, is a top top legend um but the other two boys are yeah largely you're not going to be well personally I don't think that they're they're going to change a dial too much but Beckenbauer is an absolute unit. There's no doubt about that, lads. He is unbelievable DMF or CB. And we've also got that um, post on the in-manager data issue, which I just explained there. And as an apology, any manager that was affected, so if you've got the manager that was affected, you will get 30,000 GP. And uh, they've also done the same here with the managers. These are just a list of the managers. So if you've bought any of these managers, uh, you will be affected by it. So you will get your 30,000 GP. And then speaking of 30,000 GP, there is another one coming up as well, um, which is here, I think. So yeah, so you get 5,000 GP as a token of apology if you have bought um, a club selection Chelsea B player. Um, and then the last known issue that they talk about is uh, in the premium objectives, the phrase that indicates the objective period is erroneously expressed as competition schedule in certain images. The time period displayed is correct. So they just say that they're currently hard, hard at work on all issues and they'll uh, they'll update it when it comes out. So, yeah, a bit of a vague kind of news update this week. I think a lot of people were expecting like a big, big, big V1.1.2 update, but you know, they hadn't really said that. So um, it would be nice to kind of get get more information as to what they fixed. But like, look, as ever, lads, the only way to find out is to play it yourself um, and see. But if we head over here to the actual login screen and we do have that special login campaign again starting off today. So make sure you log in every single day to get your 100 coins. The second one kicks off today, campaign volume two. And then also we get the Bayern Munich gift 
from admin as well for the, the lucky chance. And then obviously we just get all the posts in here. Um, but when we go over to the actual inbox here as well, we will get to 30,000 GP. And that is what we talked about for the affected of the uh, for the managers. So I didn't actually sign a player from the Chelsea. If you have, you will have another 5,000 GP in there. So that is it, lads. That is pretty much it for V1.1.2. Um, and obviously they've still got, I think there's a couple of days left in the in the, in the new campaign that they're doing and they have rinsed and repeated, I think as well. Uh, yeah, there's three days left in round one of the eFootball Championship Open and they've rinsed and repeated the... Um, the challenge as well with Bayern Munich as far as I know so yeah that is it for me lads I will be back quite soon hope this keeps you guys up to date um, as you can see here there's two uh, the worldwide clubs so yeah we will be back quite soon uh, not much to report on today but just keeping you up to date as usual I will talk to you in a bit peace